All right, everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add a Twitch widget into your OBS broadcasting software using the CLL Browser plugin. First thing you need to do is you need to add the CLL Browser into your OBS. Type in, I'll put all the links in the description below to be able to download it. You're going to have two options on this site. You're going to have a 32-bit and a 64-bit. I have a 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to download OBS 64-bit. I'm going to save. And once it's done downloading, you're going to open it with a RINWAR file or 7-zip. Extract all the files. Once the files are all extracted, how I normally move things around, I highlight them, copy, then I go to where this program is located. Now this is where it gets funny if you're using something like um, Elgato, which is a game capture thing, you're going to be have to download the 32-bit driver as well, because it only runs in 32-bit on OBS, but I normally stream my PC games, so it's going to be in your where you normally save it for the plugins, and this is where you're going to paste your files. I already had the files on my OBS, but paste it there. Once it's pasted, all you have to do is launch OBS and double check that it is located in there. So let's just make a new scene to show you. See, let's add source, just make it a quick image. Let's just put my image on here, browser. Cool. All right, so let's preview the stream. Now, double check that you have the CLR browser plugin available, which I do. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. Now, next. You're going to want to go to Twitter, click on your profile and settings, let's see, go to settings, then down on the side you're going to see widgets, click on widgets, create a widget. So I normally like to do better on the search so people have something to type into. Let's do how to with trim. Okay. So now that's all set, you can have a choice between light and dark theme. And it's going to show you a quick preview on how it looks. Create the widget. Copy everything. Let's minimize this. Let's minimize this. Go to your desktop or Anywhere really, just make a quick desk, quick document. I'm gonna call it Twitter. From here, paste in your source code that you just downloaded or done downloaded that you copied. You're gonna want to save as once it's pasted. You're gonna want to put at the end of it .html and save the file. Once the file is saved. Exit out of that. You don't need that now. Go to your profile. Go to the, your CLO browser plugin. Let's call this Twitter feed. Then, right on the side of this, we see the URL. If you click on the question mark, it'll allow you to open a picture or open a document on a computer. So, let's open up the Twitter. Click OK. There we have it. Now, so edit this, let's get it somewhere where I like it. You can resize it to how you see fit. Now, that's a quick way to get your Twitter feed onto your OBS broadcasting software using the CLR browser.